everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so you all this video was requested um a minute ago um but i'm doing it i'm doing it and they when i purchased this um eos body cream someone said please do a video comparing the body cream with the lotion so that's what we're going to do today and i was like let's i've been wanting to review all the lotions in this line for a minute because i haven't seen at the time when i was trying to research these that's been about two years i didn't see a lot of videos on all of them that could have changed by now but you know i'm gonna put my two cents out there <laughs> so the first lotion we're going to discuss is the ever popular one that everyone knows about mostly and that is the vanilla cashmere lotion now this has notes of whipped vanilla salt musk and cozy caramel now if you love bath and body works does that sound familiar to you the notes just think about it for a minute this lotion smells like vanilla bean noel from bath and body works but better it's richer it's more gourmand to me it's you get that caramel and to me the whipped vanilla i don't know maybe it gives me more of like a whipped cream scent and the musk you know if you've been wearing vanilla bean noel for a length of time sometimes the musk can be too much and that's why people don't like it the musk in this is not too much it's perfect it's like a hit of musk. You mostly get that caramel, that vanilla deliciousness. That's what you get from Vanilla Cashmere. And I absolutely love this lotion. And I'm not going to get into how it feels or anything right now because I'm going to talk about all the fragrances first. So this next one, I don't hear a lot about. This is the Coconut Waters. And the notes in this are creamy coconut, luscious hibiscus, and solar musk. Now, this lotion, hold on, y'all. It's, it's like it takes forever for these to unscrew. This is not your straight up coconut. To me, this is a, what it says, it's a musky floral coconut scent. And y'all, I told y'all, I don't love the note of hibiscus, but I purchased these quite a while ago because I planned to do this video and just never got around to it. But one day my, my brother was like, I don't have any lotion. And with anybody in my family, people who come to visit, they be like, well, let's go shopping in Shaughnessy's room. So I said, well, okay, I mean, I have lotion I haven't even opened. I said, I showed him the drawer where I kept, you know, not the Bath and Body Works stuff. I said, just pick some. I said, I think you would like this because he loves, ooh, I thought someone was coming towards me, y'all. He loves coconut. And so he smelled it and he said, okay, I like this. Now, I asked him the other day because I gave this to him. I haven't used this. I tried it out, but I have not, you know, this isn't my lotion. I said, so what do, what do you think of it? And he said, well, it just smells like coconut to me. I said, what kind of coconut? He said, what do you mean, what kind of coconut? <laughs> he said, it smells like coconut. Such a guy. So, but, so he picks up just a basic coconut scent. I don't pick that up. I smell the hibiscus, okay? I, coming through. This, to me, like I said, is a floral coconut musky scented lotion. Now, he did say that the fragrance lasted all day on him now with this lotion i don't want i don't think it lasts all day i think it lasts quite a while the the scent of it but i don't think i get eight plus hours of the fragrance for me but he said that the coconut waters which this to, it's a strong scent yeah, this is a this is a strong 
kind of loud fragrance uh, lotion. Now he's gonna be mad at me because that's crooked now. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know why some of these are crooked when I rescrew them, and then some. I'm gonna do it like that. You know, I it doesn't feel like it's on all the way, but to get it to be straight, I have to like leave it. It's not loose, but it doesn't feel like I tighten it all the way. But he said that it, it lasted all day for him and the scent, the fragrance did and that he really likes this lotion and that he would repurchase it himself because, you know, he won't be getting this for, from me for free again because I'm very picky with that hibiscus. Um, that is not a note that plays well with my nose. Like, I that coconut waters, it does smell good, but I would think with a coconut waters, what I was thinking this was gonna smell like like a beachy tropical coconut and it kind of does but like i said it's a coconut floral okay so the next one i really this is kind of one i don't hear too much about now this is one i don't have popped open i've just used it a little bit but i didn't want to have it open all the way because i knew i wasn't really going to go in for it using it this is the pomegranate raspberry lotion this has uh, is described as sweet pomegranate, tart raspberries, and lotus blossom. And I love the pink packaging on this. Okay. Now, this reminds me of the, pom the True Blue Pomegranate Lotion from Bath & Body Works, but not exact at all. It's because that you got that tart, is it described as tart? Yeah, it is. That tart raspberry comes through. It it makes this a very, very tart, fruity scent. That that's what I get. I really don't get is it oh, it's not musk in here, it's lotus. Let me see. I mean, I really don't think of floral when I smell this. I get I get the pomegranate and I get the tart raspberry. So this is a good if you just want a good fruity lotion, this is a good one. It's pretty, it's pink, it's fruity, it's fun, it's girly. It's a good lotion. Okay, so this next one is one that's kind of hard to find for some people they've said I found it in my local Target. If I didn't say this, you can find these at Target. And I think at Kohl's. Have I seen these at Walmart? I think you can get this at Walmart too, this lotion. But I know Target, Kohl's, Walmart, and probably other places, you know, at your drugstores. But this is one people were saying that they couldn't find at their local Target. They had to get it at Kohl's. But I found it at my Target. And this is the Jasmine Peach. I love the color of this bottle too. Jasmine Peach is described as an apricot, nectar, sparkling jasmine, and vanilla sugar. This is a sweet, juicy, peachy, like that fruity peachy scent with a floral note that's very pretty. So think floral fruity. Yeah, it's very pretty. I really like this one. And you get a sweetness from the vanilla this is the one I was thinking of when I got the, uh, I can't remember the name of it, the Peach Prosecco from Bath & Body Works. This is the lotion I was thinking, I don't need the lotion because I can pair it with this. And it, it's just a very pretty floral, fruity fragrance with vanilla thrown in. Love this, really like this lotion. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the body butter, well, the body cream. This is the exact same notes as the, this is the only body cream I have, but to me, you know, for the formulation, I didn't need all of them. I bought all of these, like I said, a while ago because I wanted to talk about each fragrance, but the, I didn't need each body cream <laughs> to compare formulations. So this, like it has whipped vanilla, soft musk, and cozy caramel. 
I did feel like that this one smelled a tad, a hair different than this. I felt like this was a little softer, um, maybe a little more buttery. Yeah, it just, it they smell basically the same, y'all. Yeah, they smell the same. I had to just put it on my skin. They smell basically the same. It's just something in here makes me think it smells, I don't know. Maybe it's that cream. You know if you have a cream, the cream doesn't usually smell exactly like the lotion. Maybe that's what I'm getting with this. Because, you know, that can happen. But they basically, they smell the same. Okay, now we've talked about the way they smell. Let's talk about how they feel. So this is the one I've used the most of. This is practically almost empty. I felt like that, okay, this says 24 hour moisture uh, plus soothing protection for dry skin. I didn't, uh, this moisturized my skin, but it, it didn't feel like it was the, the best moisturizer that I've ever used. I think I just tend to prefer heavier lotions. Like this is a light lotion to me. It does moisturize my skin. My skin does feel good when I use it, but it's a certain way I like my skin to feel. And some people don't like, I, I don't mind feeling, I don't want my skin to feel greasy or anything but I like it to feel like you got a little product for the extra softness. I didn't feel like I get that with this lotion, but the scent is so wonderful. The fragrance that, you know, I don't mind because I just use a little bit more lotion. You know, there are ways to, to get it to where the moisturization I want, but I wanted to bring that out because it says, you know, 24 hour moisture, soothing protection for dry skin. This to me is not formulated. It's very thin and light. And usually when you have a thinner lotion, that consistency, it doesn't, it sinks in quicker. And then, you know, it can, it's good, but it kind of, I don't want to say disappears where you're tight, but I like my skin to look glowy. I, it's certain things I like for my skin that I just can't get with this lotion alone. I do think it is a good moisturizing basic lotion, but if you have dry skin, to me, this is not one that I would say, this is all you need to succeed. <laughs> it, it wouldn't be. It's just not for me. And the all the line, it's the same formulation. I get the same feeling. It's light. They're light. They're moisturizing, but light. And I just think I tend to, year round, I don't care if it's summer. I think I tend to like a heavier formulation for my skin. Because I like the look of hydrated skin. I just don't like the look of I'm not ashy. <laughs> you know, I want my skin to look glowy, pretty you know, that sheen. That's how I want my skin to look and I can't get it just with this lotion alone. But again, I want to reiterate, this is a good lotion, but it's not one I would use just on its own and be like, I'm good. Okay, now onto the body cream. So the first thing I did, you know, after wearing them, I said, let me look at these ingredients because if you notice, this says 24 hour moisture plus soothing protection for dry skin on the lotion. The body cream says 24 hour moisture plus soothing protection for dry skin on the body cream. The lotion says seven nourishing, nourishing oils plus butters. So does the body cream. And then at the bottom, they both say natural shade. So I'm like, what in the world is the difference? You know, if they're exactly the same, advertised as the exact same thing. So when I looked back here, I did notice that in the body cream, it was an extra butter added. 
So in the body cream, you have cocoa seed butter and shea butter. Um, and in the lotion, you have the shea butter and the sunflower seed oil. So I think that's the difference. Now I did notice that the body cream was a little heavier, which I didn't mind. Um, it, Again, I didn't feel like this is one I just want to use on its own and it gives me, you know, like that Fendi, Fenty butter drop. Like it just gives it all. It, this one didn't do that. I felt like it was a hair more moisturizing than the lotion. But... I didn't see like mind blowing differences between the lotion and the body cream. And usually you do, but like I said, I noticed a slight difference, but not monumental. So let's break it down. These are $7.99. They're both the same price, okay? The body cream, you get eight fluid ounces. The lotion, you get 16 fluid ounces. So this is what I would say to, you know, who requested this video. If you like body creams, just get the body cream. But if you're the type that you buy your products and you're like looking like 16 ounces, because this was me, I'm 16 ounces, it's the same doggone ingredients practically. What makes this different? And then I saw, okay, they added the cocoa seed butter to this one to add a additional moisturizer. But you can use just a little bit more of this and get kind of the same results. So you have to, I don't know if using a little bit more of this would equal the eight ounces because you're using more. But if, you, if you're someone who wants to get as much product you know, with your money as possible, I would say go for the lotion because you're getting 16 fluid ounces and the only there's only one difference of the moisturizing ingredients that's in this one. And this, you're getting eight ounces. So if you're going for monetary reasons, this would be the better option, the more cost-effective option because it's 16 fluid ounces for $7.99. Eight ounces for $7.99 and you know body creams if you're the type that you you know you be putting some on go to town body creams they don't last as long as usually a lotion because you usually get less but I tend to just I, I don't be skipping on body creams either so with me and my opinion right now it would just be what I was in the mood for it honestly it would be, do I feel like getting this, which is hard to store, <laughs> or if I don't have it out, you know, once it's popped open, or do I just want this, which I'm used to, because I love the body creams from Bath & Body Works, Victoria's Secret Lotion, this is how their packaging is. So for me, it would be, what am I in the mood for packaging-wise? Because it's not enough of a difference for me to say, I will not get that lotion because the body cream is so superb, you know, better than the lotion. It's not that big of a difference to me. So for me, it would be, do I feel like going through 16 ounces or do I, sometimes I want less because I got a big collection. If you've seen my collection videos. So for me, that would be, my reasoning it's not enough of a difference okay with bath and body works their lotions i used to could see a huge difference in the lotions and the body cream the the way it felt on my skin but i'm noticing with some of the newer lotions that i've purchased they're they're just i still have to use a little bit more with lotion than the body cream but it's still they feel good on my skin and the steps I use to prep my skin because I just don't go straight to the lotion help also. So for me, again, they're both good. You just have to decide, do you want to pay $7.99 and get less with this one? But you have a cream, you have more compact packaging, easy to store. 
Or do you want to get the most product for your money and get the 16 ounces? Say it's still a good moisturizer. Just maybe have to use a little bit more. That's up to you. Because like I said, with me, it would be about what I was feeling. Do I feel like I want the huge bottle or do I just want my good old eight ounces so I can enjoy it and use it up? So to me, they're both good. Uh, I wouldn't recommend one over the other. As you can see, they're pretty even. They are pretty even in my opinion. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below telling me, okay, have you tried the lotion and the body cream? Do you see, just tell me, do you see a big difference? What's your opinion? Because I'm only one person. Everybody's skin is different. Everybody experiences things differently. So tell us your experience down in the comments below because we would love to see them and communicate together that's where we all talk and have fun please share this video with everyone who loves to try new beauty and hygiene products like we all do and please turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as i always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye Y'all, I got up getting ready. So I don't even know if I'm in the same spot. Probably not. But I forgot to tell you when my brother used this lotion, he said that it kept his skin moisturized all day. And I said, well, what do you mean? What, what do you consider, you know, really moisturized skin? And he said, not tight. <laughs> That's if, if that's your level, you just don't want your skin to feel tight and irritated, there you go. He said that this lotion, he, he could smell it all day, it moisturized all day because his skin wasn't tight and he was extremely happy with the EOS uh, Coconut Waters Lotion. So that's, I just wanted to give you two opinions. He didn't use the body butter because he's not going to be smelling like no vanilla cashmere. So I can't tell you his opinion on that, but that is his opinion on, you know, the EOS lotion that he has been using.